This Eastern European nation elicits a strong sense of history and tradition at every turn. From its numerous charming towns and stunning landscape to its majestic capital city of Budapest, which is aptly called the City of Lights. Budapest has grown to be the nation's top tourist destination, since it can legitimately be compared to towns like Prague and even Paris. But not all Hungary's top attractions and activities can be found there. In Hungary's charming cities and towns of all sizes, the traditional old historical landmarks have been preserved. The countryside of Hungary features some of the most breathtaking views in all of Europe. The Danube runs directly across Hungary. So wherever you travel, you may find breathtaking mountains, lakes, verdant valleys, and picturesque river landscapes. All of these breathtaking settings offer a wealth of fantastic chances for outdoor enthusiasts who enjoy adventure sports like hiking, bicycling, climbing, and camping. Watch our comprehensive video of the best Hungary attractions and things to do to ensure you get the most out of your touring in this amazing European nation. 1. Lake Balaton It is simple to understand why Lake Balaton is referred to as the Pearl of Hungary once you arrive at its shores. A lovely location with a wide stretch of water, where graceful boats glide like white clouds, is barely 100 kilometers from the capital. Swan flocks in large numbers, historic fortress, ruins, mountainous scenery, sandy beaches, lush vineyards, and gardens by the water may all be seen here. The shallow depth of Lake Balaton, which is no more than 3 meters, and its amazingly clear fresh water, which warms up to 25 to 27 degrees Celsius in the summer, are what make it special. This makes it the perfect location for family recreation. People seeking to enhance their health go from all over the world to visit the area's numerous thermal and mineral springs. There are several health and aquatic sports facilities, tennis courts, soccer fields, volleyball courts, basketball courts, horse stables, and even a bobsled run for individuals who enjoy sports. Your trip will be educational, intriguing, and varied thanks to the significant Hungarian attractions found in each of the little lakeside towns. 2. Buda Castle, Budapest You can't visit Hungary without taking in Buda Castle, the city's top attraction. Although its dome can be seen from practically anywhere in downtown Budapest, this imposing landmark is best viewed from Mount Gellert due to its grandeur and elegance. Since the middle of the 13th century, significant events in Hungary have had a significant impact on the history of the castle. At that time, King Bela IV gave the order to build the stronghold in order to defend the local populace from attacks by the Tatar-Mongolian army. Later, it was converted into the royal dynasty's home. There used to be a protective wall around the castle, but it has been repeatedly destroyed and rebuilt. Each structure has a unique history that can be told including information about monarchs, commoners, conflicts, and tranquil times, as well as customs and habits. 3. Lake Heves Lake Heves, which is close to the city of Heves and 190 kilometers from Budapest, it is impossible to adequately convey Hungary's attractions. The lake is special because of the elements in its water, including radon, hydrogen carbonates, iodine, and salts of magnesium, potassium, and calcium. Ten underground springs that replenish the lake's water completely every three days ensure its unwavering purity. The lake's ambient temperature is above 38 degrees Celsius in the summer and never drops below 22 degrees Celsius in the winter. As a result, the resort is open all year long. Due to the lake's proximity to hectares of legally protected forest, clean air also helps the rehabilitation process. Heavey's resorts help patients with illnesses of the musculoskeletal, neurologic, and cardiovascular systems. 4. The Citadel on Mount Gellert, Budapest The Citadel on Mount Gellert in the nation's capital is one of Hungary's most fascinating and significant tourist destinations. The fortress was constructed in the middle of the 19th century and is currently protected as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. The fortress served as a hospital, storage, and barracks for soldiers during World War II. There are numerous manholes and hidden passages built into the citadel structure that you can use to access various parts of the city. Wax figurines and an exhibition of historical documents and images are now on display in the three-story bunker. 
It's interesting outside the citadel as well. Draws focus to the 40-meter tall Freedom Monument, which features a lady holding a palm branch. A statue of Saint Istvan, the patron saint of the Catholic Church, can be found next to the cave entrance, and there is World War II military hardware on display in the courtyard. The mountain itself is very lovely. It is made out of rocks covered in a forest and rises 235 meters. The city and the broad Danube River are beautifully visible from the summit. 5. Pannenholm Abbey The oldest Benedictine monastery and abbey in Hungary is Pannenholm Abbey. When paganism still ruled Hungary towards the end of the 10th century, Prince Giza started to Christianize his lands, and the Benedictines built Pannenholm Abbey on a tall hill. The abbey experienced difficult times over the years, and the Soviet government did not respect it either. Soon after it was founded in Hungary, all of the monastery's assets were seized. With roughly 50 monks still residing there, the monastery is still operational today. Property and freedom were returned to it at the turn of the 20th century with the fall of the Soviet authority. The 12th century Basilica of St. Martin, the large monastic library, the Baroque refectory, the gymnasium, the museums with ongoing and passing exhibits, the botanical garden, the wine cellar, and the factory are some of the significant structures that are still worth seeing today. 6. Estergom Basilica The greatest Catholic church in Hungary, located in Estergom on the high bank of the Danube, is visible from all parts of the city and even from Slovakia, which is a neighboring country. The church is built in the typical cross style, and the hall is crammed with statues created by Italian and Hungarian sculptors. A massive Michelangelo Grigoletti painting, a copy of Titian's work honoring the Assumption of the Virgin Mary, is displayed on the wall behind the white stone altar. It's important to note that there was once another temple in this location before the basilica, but the Tatar Mongols quickly demolished it. In the 16th century, a second church was built here, but it was also short-lived. Almost a century later, the Ottomans destroyed it, leaving just the Bakachi Chapel standing. You can climb to the observation deck to observe the Danube and numerous views of the city during a tour of the basilica or visit the crypt, where illustrious religious personalities are interred. 7. Visegrad, a tiny medieval city on the right bank of the Danube, is situated 30 to 40 kilometers north of the capital and is a decent choice for what to see in Hungary by vehicle. The Visegrad Fortress, formerly the Hungarian King's Palace, is Visegrad's principal draw and calling card. A citadel and other castles can be located on its expansive grounds. Like most Hungarian fortresses, Visegrad Fortress was constructed during the Tatar invasion. However, the Romans really placed the fortress's original foundations. The Visegrad Fortress is now a public museum on Castleville with five stories. The hefty wooden furnishings, carved wooden doors, and frames surrounding the stained glass windows are all examples of the Gothic design that permeates the entire castle. Here, you may find craft fairs and stage jousting competitions every year. 8. Tian Peninsula Tian is a 12-square-kilometer-long peninsula that divides Baladin, the largest lake in Hungary, into two sections. Due to the uncommon variety of plants and animals that call this peninsula home, it was formally designated a nature reserve in the middle of the 20th century. Visit Tian to take in the local countryside, which is especially stunning in the fall when the leaves are all their vibrant shades. Tian may be one of the greatest places to visit in Hungary in October. The historical sites that are located on the island are equally fascinating, such as the Ethnographic Museum, the Lapidarium Stone Museum, and the Abbey of St. Agnos, which is a stunning replica of the sacred Mount Calvary. A developed local infrastructure offers the best extreme sports in Hungary, including windsurfing, kiteboarding, sailing, and water skiing, making Lake Balaton the nation's water sports hub. With Ukraine, which is, as they say, nearby, Hungary shares a land border. 9. Say Cheney Baths Budapest The abundance of thermal springs and spas with therapeutic water-rich in minerals stands out among Hungary's sites. Say Cheney Baths which are in the nation's capital, is the largest facility, nevertheless. At first glance, it may be difficult to believe that such a massive palace-like structure houses a body of baths. 
It is embellished with pictures and sculptures of fish, shells, and other aquatic legendary creatures in the classical style. The facility comprises 15 indoor swimming pools and three outdoor swimming pools with water sourced from wells that are 1246 meters deep. It has a 76 degrees Celsius ambient temperature. Fountains and statues are used to adorn the complex environment. There are always a lot of tourists, but everything is kept tidy. Without leaving Budapest, there is the chance to not only rest and heal, but also explore Hungary. The Se Cheney baths provide aromatherapy massages in addition to bathing in therapeutic waters. Applications of mud are also employed therapeutically. For outpatients, there are saunas and designated swimming pools in the basement. 10. Hungarian Parliament Building The image of the Hungarian Parliament Building can be found on practically every memento brought back from Budapest because it is such a significant landmark. It is uncommon to find a tour of Budapest without stopping by the Parliament. And those looking for something to see in Hungary in a week won't find a better location since the structure is situated in the city center, where all trips throughout the nation begin. When the two cities on either side of the river agree to reunite, the need to construct this home emerged around the end of the 19th century. The enormous structure features wings with meeting rooms on either side and a central dome that rises to 96 meters. The facade's design blends elements of French beaux arts and neo-Gothic architecture, and the interior is no less magnificent, with mosaics, tapestries, moldings, and paintings, as well as plush carpeting on the floors and elaborate chandeliers and lanterns on the ceilings.